Hi everybody, so today I have a special review for you, kind of haul slash review, and I'm going to be going over some Gemma Kid products that were sent to me, so if you are interested in finding out what I think about some of these products, then just keep watching. So I was sent some products from um, a very sweet girl, her name is um, Malini or Malini. I think. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, she was so sweet. She contacted me through um, YouTube here and wanted to know if I was interested in um, receiving some Gemma Kid cosmetics to review for you guys, which I was definitely interested. Now, for those of you girls who love Target as much as I do, I'm sure you've been down the makeup aisle a thousand times before. Then, if you have, then you've probably seen and heard of this brand before. Um, like I said, it's called Gemma Kid. And um, it's a really great high end product that's really high quality. And they also produced a line that is now available at Target or has been available at Target. And so it's the JK Gemma Kid. And so it's just really, like I said, high end quality. Um, that's available at Target, not drugstores, but Target. Um, so let me just get to some of the products that she sent me so I can show you guys and let you know what I think about them. I'm um, just grabbing the first one here. This is the packaging. And right off the bat, I can tell you guys that I absolutely love the packaging. So it's hot pink and black, and it has that kind of and um, reflective that JK so this is what the symbol looks like at Target when you purchase it there um, and this is the pro finish moisture tint with um, SPF 20 in it and I have it in the color 01 fair and this is what the tube looks like when you take it out of the box again the packaging is really great it's nice and sleek and it looks really cute it's black with hot pink and all of the products have this cute little floral print on it. So this is what it looks like and you can apply the product. It has just a little tube that you just squirt out and apply it on your hand or on your fingers or on a sponge. And um, honestly, I don't wear moisture um, tinted moisturizer often at all. I'm more of a girl who prefers like a heavy um, coverage with foundation rather than um, a tinted moisturizer or something really light coverage like that but I will say that I've tried this out and I wore it a few times and it is very 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 moisturizing so I think this is a great item to um, wear especially during the winter time if your skin dries from that cold air this is going to be something really great and also with your tinted moisturizer I mean, maybe you can go a shade up if you want some color on your skin and also you can apply a great um, powder foundation over it and you'll still you know have some coverage there with giving you some cup um, giving you some color I can't talk today so um, also something really great about this product is it gives you a really nice dewy finish it doesn't make your skin o over moisturized because for me I noticed that when I wear um, like products with a lot of oils in them, I feel like my face just looks like an oil slick. It's super shiny by the end of the day, and I didn't notice that at all with this, which is really great because, like I said, my skin is really prone to getting oily and shiny. So this didn't do that at all. It kept that dewy finish without looking shiny or sweaty looking. So that's a really good plus for this as well. Also, with the SPF 20, it's really great for your skin all year round. Don't think just because it's summertime that you have to wear the SPF. Winter time too, if you like to go skiing and snowboarding or going to the mountains, the sun rays are sometimes even stronger on the mountain than they are at the beach. So you have to really be careful about that because you don't want any skin damage on your face especially. Um, so you don't want any of those premature wrinkles for sure. Um, so those are the perks of this. Um, maybe the downside I'd say it does have a little bit of a um, a scent to it. It's not obnoxious. It, it kind of has that um, kind of that original lotion scent to it a bit. I don't know how to explain it. If you smelt it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it does just kind of have that slight scent to it. It doesn't last all day, so it's not like you can smell it on your face when you're wearing it. But when you are applying it, you can smell a little bit of that scent to it. Um, 
Also, the price of this product, this is available for $26. So you will notice with the Gemma Kid products that these are going to be the most um, pricey makeup products that you will find at Target. It is, like I said, a higher end, higher quality product. So it is priced at a much higher price range than you're probably used to seeing shopping at Target. So I'll leave that up to you whether it's worth it or not. Um, so this is a really great product and it's a pretty, it's a great a fair amount of product. It's 1.01 fluid ounces so this does pack a lot and you really don't use a lot in one use. So this is going to last you a really, really long time too. So that is the Tinted Moisturizer. Um, next thing, okay, these next two items I'm going to talk about are pretty similar so I'll talk about them together. Um, again, here's the packaging. This is called this item. These two items that I'm talking about, it's a really great um, item. Blah, 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 I'm just going total brain dead here. Um, so what it is, this one I'm showing you here, it's the Lip ID Color Adapt Gloss. And then this is the Cheek ID Color Adapt Gloss. So what's really amazing about these, I'll just read it on the back here. Um, Okay, well, what it is, the color ID, it reacts to your skin's pH to create an, a unique color that's um, unique to your skin. So, um, for the blush, it says, using the same technology as our best-selling lip ID, this innovative high-tech formula reacts to the natural pH in your cheeks for your perfect color match. It glides on transparent and colors naturally with added vitamin C and E. So that's for the blush, and it's the same thing for the lip gloss as well. So for the lip gloss, on every makeup artist's wish list, Innovated High Tech Formula reacts to natural lip pH for a completely individual, perfect color match. Non-tacky and hydrating, glides on transparent, and colors naturally. And so I have tried both of these, and it is completely true. Everything that it promises, it does um, follow through with it. So let me show you these items out of their package. This is the Lip ID. And so this is what the packaging looks like for this. I love it. It's the opposite. It's hot pink with black and again it has that floral print on it. So again, like I said, the, the Lip ID. So basically what it is, it's just a clear gloss and it comes like this. There is no color range. And um, when you apply it on your lips, it um, it's not sticky at all whatsoever, so I really, really love that about this. It's a little bit on the thick side, but not tacky at all, like it says. Um, it's very, very smooth on your lips, and it also lasts a really long time. Honestly, it's almost kind of like a lip stain in a way, because I checked um, throughout the day on the color of my lips, and it st stayed true to that color for a very, very long time, even through eating and drinking. Um, so it has really great staying power as well. Um, for me, when I apply this to my lips, it gives me a nice um, kind of rosy, bright pink color. But it's not like neon hot pink like this. It's just almost just like a really natural color. So I really like it. Um, the gloss has absolutely no scent to it and no taste whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, downside for this is the applicator. Now I'm sure you're supposed to just apply this with your finger but for me when I apply my lip gloss I don't like getting my fingers in it so for me when I applied this I just kind of put it on my lips like that which isn't too comfortable because it's not really shaped to your lip. So that's the downfall to this um, but besides that the color is great. I think the whole idea to this color ID is absolutely amazing. It's so unique so I mean it's so cool because for every person that wears this, it could be a different color. I'd be really interested to see other women try this on and see what it looks like on them compared to mine. Um, this you can purchase. This is a little bit on the pricier side. Like I said, it's available for $20. So, And then in, in this product, it's 0.5 fluid ounces. And again, a little goes a long way. So it's going to last you quite some time. Now for the Cheek ID, this one is very unique. Now this is similar to the idea 
kind of to the O Glow. I don't know if you've heard of that. They have the lip gloss and also the cheek, um, the liquid cheek stain, kind of like that. This one's similar to the idea, but I feel like this is so much more unique. This is what the packaging looks like for the cheek. It's really cute, just clear plastic, and it has a really nice little pop-up um, packaging. So this is what the blush looks like. And as you can see, it's like a gel. And it says it goes on clear. It does have a little bit of a pink tint to it, which I find actually really nice because when you're applying this, you're not going to want to put it on your cheeks blindly because you don't want to get this up too high or too low. So it is nice because it does have a bit of a tint to it already so you can kind of see where you're placing it correctly. Now, one thing for this you have to be careful is that you want to apply it on your bare skin or with like very lightly primed skin or with a very light layer of foundation. Um, so I think that might be a little downfall to this product because it might be a little bit of a hassle. I did apply it before I put on my powdered foundation and I didn't find any problems with it at all and it still had a really nice um, flush color. And what's great about this is that it's more on the natural side. So for those of you girls who like the natural, not overdone look, these products are great <clears throat> because they really give you a nice fresh face. And um, for this product, it gives you just like you just got a slightly pinched cheek. So it's just very natural looking and it's this really pretty light pink color. Just a shade slighter, lighter than this. So again, a little goes a long way. In this product, you get .08 ounces. And this you can purchase for $18. So it is a little bit cheaper than the lip gloss. Um, <clears throat> for me, I don't feel like this product is as practical, at least in my opinion. For those of you girls who really like cream blushes, you really might enjoy something like this. So that might be something to keep in mind. The next product I'm going to show you, I absolutely love. This is my favorite product out of all that she has sent me. This is the Mannequin Skin Illuminating Concealer, and I love this product. This is in the color 01 Fair to Mid. So let me show you. This is the packaging again, similar to the others. And this is what the product looks like. So basically what it is, it's a duo-ended concealer and highlighter. So on this top part here, um, it has the concealer, and it's just the stick form. And I really, really love this concealer. It's um, very creamy. It has pretty great coverage. I've been wearing this for the last couple days. I use this to cover up any like acne scarring or, or breakout that I might have. Um, I don't use this under my eyes because it does have... Um, it, it is a little bit on the orangier side compared to my skin, and I like to wear a lighter tone under my eyes for a more highlighting effect. So for this, I like to use this as a cover-up, and it does a really, really great job of that. So I'll first apply this over my um, scarring or pimples or whatever it may be, and um, I'll just pat that on with my finger, and then when I apply my foundation, it just seals it really nicely. So I love this. It's very creamy. Like I said, great coverage. So, and this, I like the way it's just so smooth. <laughs> so that's the top portion, the concealer. Then down here is the highlighting portion. And again, they have their floral print in there. Now this highlighter is very gorgeous. I love it because, um, well, let me open it up for you guys. It has the doe foot applicator like that. And so it's just a really pinky, pearly white color. And honestly, you guys cannot overdo this highlighter. Um, my lights are so bright. It's kind of washing out the... Uh, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see, but my lights are so bright. Um, anyways, it's just a really, really pretty, pearly, kind of slightly pink-toned highlighter. It's so beautiful. It's great to apply on your cheekbones. Also, again, for a fresh face, if you're really on the go, you can apply this as a highlighter and on the inner corners. That's what I did the other day, and it worked great. And you can just apply this and reapply it for as um, shimmery as a highlight as you want. So I really, 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 really love this product. Hands down, I love it. I can't find anything negative about it. 
absolutely love it. You can get this for $18, which I feel this is a pretty good deal because again, like I said, it's the concealer and the highlighter. The highlighter is going to last you forever. Same with the concealer because all you do is just pat it on your skin and a little goes a long way with these products because they are such great high quality. So the price may be a little bit high, but you do have to remember that these products are going to last you for quite some time. So lastly here, um, real quickly, I have, this is one of their most affordable, and I'm really sad because I had to open up the package um, to try it out before I could even show you guys, but this one is priced at $9.99, and this is the Ultra Plush Mascara and Eye Tech Liner. It's kind of like a little duo, and it comes, well, it was in, packaged with these in it, so these are kind of like the mini sample sizes, and let me show you. This is the Ultra Plush um, mascara. Still, even with the item being kind of like a sample size, it is still packaged very sleek and very professional looking. I love it. It's got, um, let me open this up for you. Look at this cute little wand it has. It's so adorable. Um, so the product, um, the mascara formula, it's very thickening. I really like it. And you know, the size of the one, it is smaller than normal, but it is actually kind of a benefit as well because you can get in there and get in those corners and really get those little lashes in there, your bottom lashes. So it's on the thickening side and it also um, separates your lashes very well too. So I really like the mascara. Okay, the um, Eye Tech Liner. Now look how small this is. It is very small. Let me tell you um, what the ounces are in these. For the mascara, the mascara, darn it, the thing got ripped off. Um, for the mascara, I believe it has 0.10 ounces. Yeah, 0.10 ounces, sorry. And the Eye Tech Liner, okay color. Okay, the iTech liner has 0.05 ounces, so there's double amount of mascara, but let me show you this. So it is very small, but I cannot believe how much goes in this product. Like, this little thing is probably going to last me forever. Like, there's, oh my gosh, like one swipe of this and you're good. You could probably do two eyes with it. So let me show you. It has the little um, brush applicator. So I was a little bit nervous when I saw this, but it is great. It goes on so smoothly. I'm not a huge fan of the liquid liner, but this was so easy and so quick. Now, one thing I have to say. The, the product itself... Let me see if my camera can get that. See how it's a, a little bit almost on the gooey side on the top there? Uh, that's just being picky. That's not how it applies, so it's not goopy at all. But I do have to say that getting this product off of my eyes was a mission. <laughs> I mean, this thing stuck to my lids like unbelievable. I washed my face in the shower, got out of the shower, and my eyeliner was still on. I mean, looked like it was untouched, and I washed my face in the shower. So then I used my, um, I used Vaseline to kind of remove any mascara that I might still have under my eyes or anything like that, and I really, really, really had to work hard to get that off, even with the Vaseline. So, I don't know, it could be a plus, it could be a negative, depending on how you look at it. Waterproof-wise, oh, you're set. This is going to last you forever. Like I said, it's so hard to get off. Um, if you're looking at it in that aspect and you don't like to spend a lot of time removing your makeup, that might be a negative for you. But I do have to say, I really, really, really love this product. I would be willing to work, um, you know, a couple minutes more removing this um, because it does apply so nicely and it gives you a really easy application. It's so nice. So I do have to say, I love this. and. Don't let the size fool you because, like I've said throughout all of this review, a little goes a long way and it's going to last you a long time. So, that is it for my products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to put a link down below to um, Target the Gemma Kid um, 
cosmetics section if you want to check out some of the other products they have. They have amazing other things that they offer, lip glosses. I really want to get my hands on a lip gloss because I think they would be pretty comparable to the MAC lip glosses. Haven't tried them yet, but like I said, I'd be very interested to do that. Um, so yeah, if you have guys, if you guys have any questions about any of these products here or anything about the brand, um, let me know. I'll be happy to, to answer your questions. Um, thank you, Malini, for sending me these amazing products. That was so generous of you. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And see you guys soon. Bye.